Hi guys, welcome to or welcome back to my channel Kage Manga. I'm Kaylee and today I have another manga haul for you. This time we're covering May and June. Um, this video is a little bit later than I wanted it to be. Um, I've been a little bit addicted to uh, Stardew Valley lately. I'm pretty new to it but I'm finding it so much fun and so instead of editing this video I was instead procrastinating and playing Stardew. Sorry. <laughs> anyway, here's the haul for you. I hope you enjoy. The first volume I picked up in May was Sakamoto Days. If you haven't heard anything about the series, it covers the once legendary assassin Taro Sakamoto and his days after leaving the underworld after falling in love. Now he runs a neighbourhood store with his lovely wife and child and has gotten a bit out of shape. So far the story has been a hilarious action comedy. It sort of gives me Way of the House Husband vibes, but displayed in a flowing story rather than being episodic. The action sequences look dynamic and the adventure has been so entertaining. Volume 2 is already on the way and I can't wait to read more. Continuing with something funny, we have Mashal. This is essentially a Harry Potter comedy focusing on our main character Mash, who is just um, unbelievably strong. <laughs> Due to some circumstances, he's now been put into magic school and is having to deal with their everyday use of magic without it and without people knowing that he does not possess magic. I have laughed out loud so much reading this series and I do wonder if it's going to get a bit repetitive because some of the things are already starting to be a little bit predictable but I guess I'll just have to keep reading it and decide that for myself. I am already in love with this series. It's just so interesting, entertaining, gripping, it is right up my alley. For a shonen, it is so nice to have a main protagonist who isn't young and 16 where it doesn't make sense for the plot. Kaiju number 8 covers Kafka Hibano, a 32 year old kaiju corpse cleanup crew member who dreamed of being part of the Japanese Defence Force to fight alongside his childhood friend Mina and fight off the kaiju, kaiju being big deadly monsters. Now that a sudden Defence Force rule has changed, it means Kafka is now eligible to apply once again. In the story we follow the struggles Kafka will go through including a sudden mystery to do with the kaiju. Continuing on my journey to collect Dr. Stone, I picked up volume 6 this month. I still have yet to start reading this manga, but as soon as I gather up some more volumes, it, I think it's a series I'll want to binge. With my mission to get reading Hunter x Hunter, I picked up more volumes this month. Volume 2, 5, 6 and 7. If you happen to not know anything about Hunter x Hunter, I'll leave the plot on the screen for you to pause and read. Let's just say it's a goodie. Death Note is one of those series that has been in my collection for the longest time, but it's only been the Volume 1 Black Edition. So I finally picked up Volume 2 and 3 of the Black Editions for Death Note. I read this series back in secondary school when I was about 14 and I just remember really enjoying it and that's probably when I picked up <laughs> the Volume 1 and now finally I'm going to collect the whole thing. It's only 6 volumes long for the Black Edition so it's pretty easy to pick up and as soon as I have them all I'm rereading that story. My honest thoughts after reading Burn the Witch is I'm not entirely sure. I like the concept, I love the world, the characters are um, quirky I guess, but I found myself really struggling to get through this. I don't know if my head just wasn't in the right space while I was consuming this content. Um, so maybe it's worth me giving it another go in a couple of months time, but I can't really give an opinion on this book at the moment because yeah, I really... I'm not sure. Trying to get more of the Full Metal Alchemist Full Metal editions with the beautiful hardcovers. I've now got four and five. I just love this version of the manga and I think it's the best way to collect it. I'm excited to have some more and we'll keep slowly picking it up. 
Next I got volume 7 of The Period, which finally arrived on the pre-order. I really like the series so far and I'm excited to now read the next volume. The characters are really interesting, there are some interesting plot points, and I say interesting too much, you're welcome. A Sign of Affection Volume 5. I cannot tell you how long I've waited for this next volume to be out. I love this series, it's so freaking cute. It's about a dev girl and a man who likes to travel, they're both in college, it's romantic, it's cute, adorable, and I seriously recommend to anyone to pick this up who just wants to read such a fluffy romance. I got volume 4 of Witch Hat Atelier. I have not read past volume 1 still, I want to collect more of this series because I'm more of a binge reader. Which at Atelier is on the back burner, but we are collecting the volumes slowly. If you want to look at some nicely drawn artwork for the story and magical plot points and some mystery, you might like this series. Throughout May and June, I finally decided to pick up Cheeky Brat volumes 1, 2, and 3, which are all which are currently released. For me, this series is like a guilty pleasure. I compare it to watching trash TV and I love it. The only reason I say this is because I can see it being either one of those shoujo mangas with a lot of drama and uh, will they won't they, who will interfere with the relationship etc or it's going to be absolutely adorable with the best character development. In the words of Yuki Machida, our leading lady who puts it best, I, Yuki, became the basketball team manager for one reason. I had a crush on the captain and wanted to be with him, always. But when Kido Senpai suddenly announces he got a girlfriend, where did that leave me? In the club room, crying my eyes out, until this cheeky brat of an underclassman showed up, and now that stupid pretty playboy in Narose seems determined to wiggle his way into every corner of my life. Yonor of the Dawn, volume 14, that finally came back in stock so I picked that up. It's always the earlier volumes that are out of stock at the moment and I've got them all, notifications that they're ready. Already know I'm gonna love you another dawn. I read volume one, two, three, and four, and that's where I've had to stop because that's all I have. I could read online, but I just love reading it physically. Um, it's so annoying that I have to wait, but it is what it is. It is what it is. But anyway, yeah, <laughs> you know the dawn, cool adventure romance story. Sasaki Yamiano, volume two. I have read this far already because I was reading online. It's just a very cute BL story. It's such a natural progression and I really do like it. We'll get some more when I can to catch up to where I read to online. I'm not going to go into too much detail about the series as I have mentioned it more in a previous video. But yeah, let's just say this is a BL I like. I kind of want to take back ever so slightly what I said about Chainsaw Man. Now that I have completed part one, some of the jokes are necessarily not for me but as a whole the series is very entertaining. The action, the mystery, the drama. After reading the volume 11 I am so hyped for the anime. If the animation is as beautiful as showing in the trailer and if they keep the story as true to the manga I can see this being huge and I'm so excited for the anime now. I picked up volume 10 of My Hero Academia. Still not caught up to where I have watched in the anime but at least I'm collecting more volumes. Let's go! I decided to continue picking up After the Rain, so I got volume 5 this month. I believe that brings me up to date with what's currently out of the series for the English releases. I haven't read volume 4 yet, so we're on pause at the moment, but I think it's a series I definitely want to continue. I decided to pick up volume 1 of Miss Koizumi Loves Ramen Noodles. I got it as more of like something I can read where I don't have to care too much. So kind of like with Way of the House Husband where you can just kind of read at your own pace. One chapter, many chapters, just something to relax on and I haven't got many if any food manga so I was really drawn to having something a little bit different in my collection. Finally, Snow White with the Red Hair Volume 1 came back in stock, baby! 
I'm so happy. As I said before, I really want to look into collecting this series as much as I possibly can. It's been one I wanted to start for a while and I finally made the decision to start collecting it. It's such a throwback. I'm so happy to finally get start reading this series. I've really got a thing for romance at the moment, let's just say that much. But anyway, that is all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, feel free to give it a like maybe subscribe for more, turn on the bell so you know when I post, and feel free to leave any comments. I love seeing your guys' comments. I will reply and like when I can, just to let you know I've seen them. It really means a lot. I love engaging with you all, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Does anyone else notice when they misspeak or I don't know if it's just me when I'm recording but I will make it the strangest sounds. Blah, 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 blah. I can't. Yep. <laughs>